ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Verb Circus. My name is Kyle Miller, and here we are in our fifth program with an incredible pair of guests. It's kind of a bittersweet moment, wouldn't you say, Luca? Yes, it is. Bittersweet. Why is it? Why is it? Bit, why is it bittersweet, Juice? Because it's our last episode here. Yeah, it's it's our last <laughs> show together. It's been wonderful. Well, it's not over yet. We do have one show, so it's it's a sweet moment because it builds to an exciting climax here. And we have to remember that the winner for the five programs will take home a one-year subscription to this fantastic monthly magazine of ours, the Vaughn Review, and also be considered as a possible winner of our grand prize, which is a trip to the Vaughn Town, and also our secondary prize, which is an inscription in the Baugan Inglés 4.0 course. Okay, so lots of prizes available and gifts on every show. We just keep giving away things here on the <laughs> Verb Circus. It's great, isn't it? Yes, yes it, it is. is. All right, so yes, as you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by Luca and Chus. And let's take a look at the scores going into the last show. Let's take a look at the score. Luca with 190 and Chus has 275. So what do you have to do? What's the phrasal verb that we saw back in the second show? Luca? I have to catch up. <laughs> catch up. Alcanzar desde atrás, right? Yes. To catch up. She has to catch up. She's going to do her best to catch up. Do you think she can catch up? Do you choose? Really? Really? Well, she can try. She can try. Look at that company. <laughs> she can try her best, but she can't catch me. Okay. All right, let's, let's take a look at our verb. We have to start, as always, by choosing our verb of the day. Boom, there it is. Under my hand, between my hands, sandwiched between my hands, the verb to put. Put. Let's think about the conjugation of today's verb. Can you conjugate this verb for me? Yeah. To every day I put. Yeah. Yesterday I put. And lately I have put. That's easy, isn't it? <laughs> every day I put. Yesterday I put. Lately I've put. Put, 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 put. But please never say put. No. Put. 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 Say it again. Put. Very good. Put. Okay, so let's take a look at the uses of today's verb. First, we have the idea of poner, to place something somewhere, to put, right? So where do I put my pencil when I'm talking? On your desk. You put I your put pencil. my pencil on my desk, on my podium. We also have meter, también meter, which is essentially the same. Uh, in, the, in this sense, I'm putting it on my desk, so the use of meter, to put something somewhere. Also, colocar. You're placing something somewhere. You're putting something somewhere, right? Do you put your feet up when you get home, Luca? Do you yeah. put your feet up to relax? Yes, I put my feet up when I get home. Yeah, to relax. To relax. We have a program on Vaughn Radio called Time to Put Your Feet Up, right? Sit back and relax. Okay, let's move on now and consider a few phrasal verbs, which are quite interesting. Some phrasal verbs. First, we have to put away. Guardar algo. En algún sitio. To put something away. Okay, so, for example, do you put away the milk when you're finished drinking it? Yes, I usually put the milk away when I finished. Usually or, usually or always? I usually. Put <laughs> away the milk. Put the, put the milk away. Okay, so this is to, to, go, to guardar algo. In the, in, in the appropriate place, to put it away, to return it to where it belongs, right? Okay, and to put out, what does put out mean? Sacar. No, that's to take out. To put out is to extinguish with a fire or flame. Have you ever put out a fire in your kitchen? No, I have never put out a fire in my kitchen. Okay, have you ever put out a fire in your kitchen? Have you ever put out a fire? A grease fire, you should never put water on a grease fire, you should put it out extinguish it with a cloth, right? Okay, next we have to put off. To put off means to postpone. So if we can't record this show today, we'll have to put it off until tomorrow. But we don't have to, we can do it right now. And finally, to put together is to assemble, montar. Have you ever put together furniture that you've bought? Yes, I have put together uh, furniture. Okay, ask me if I like putting together furniture. Do you like putting together furniture, Kyle? In fact, I do. I do. I enjoy assembling or putting together 
furniture. So montar algo to put together. Very good. All right, I think I, I think you you're pretty confident with these uses, <laughs> but let's put you to the test. Let's put you to the test in the translation challenge. All right, here's where things start to get fun, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the translation challenge. Here, you will see sentences in Spanish on your screen and at home, just like here on the set. You have to choose the correct option in English. Habrá tres opciones en pantalla. Tres opciones de, bueno, de la traducción y tú tienes que elegir la traducción correcta. Each correct answer is worth five points. Okay, let's get started with number one. ¿Dónde pusiste las bebidas? Mm -hmm. Option A. Where you put the drinks. Option B. Where did you put the drinks? And option C. Where put you the drinks? Five seconds. I'm going to make a prediction. I would <laughs> like to make a prediction, I think, both contestants will guess correctly because they're smart. They know the answer, and you at home should also know the answer. Okay? You should also know the answer. Show me that you know the correct answer, Luca. You have to know this one. B, B and B. B. They're smart. You see, they know the answer is B. Now at home, hopefully you also knew the answer was B. And Luca, I want you to say it for me, please. Where did you put the drinks? Where did you put the drinks? You need the auxiliary verb. The first answer doesn't have an auxiliary verb, but you need it. Where did you put the drinks? Okay. Number two. Él me puso la mano en el hombro. Okay. Option A. He put his hand on my shoulder. B. He put me the hand on my back. And option C. He puts his hand on my shoulder. Five seconds. Okay. All right. Also, this one wasn't too hard, but let's see the answer. Luca, what have you got for us? A. Luca says A and choose. A. Also says A. The correct answer is A. Well done. Five points to each of our guests. Good job. And hopefully you got five points as well at home. Also, make sure you're repeating. Siempre en voz alta en casa. Eso es muy importante. You will learn more if you repeat out loud. En voz alta, siempre en casa. Okay? Eso es muy importante. Let's take a look at number three. Me pongo el zapato izquierdo antes que el derecho. It's true. I do. Do you do that, Juice? Not, not really. I, 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 I don't do, do it. It's true. I always do that. Okay. In English, A. I put the left boot on before the right one. And B. I put myself the left shoe before the right one. And C. I put my left shoe on before my right. true, I do that. I actually, I think I actually do that. The same with my socks, right? Luca, what's the answer? I think it's A. Luca says A and choose. And I know it's A, but I take and Choose says C, but she says, I know it's A, but sometimes you just have to trust your instincts, choose, because the correct answer is C. Oh, really? Yes, the correct answer is C, not A, no. I put my left shoe on before my right. We don't have to repeat the word shoe. Just like in Spanish, you don't have to repeat the word shoe or boot. And it's a shoe. No, no, no es una bota. Zapato. Okay? So the, op the, the, the correct answer is C. All right? Pat on the back if you got that one right. Good job. So points for choose. Okay. Let's go on now to number four. Tendremos que aplazarlo hasta la próxima semana. Oh. And in English, option A, we have to put it off for next week. Option B, we have to put it off to next week. And option C, we'll have to put it off for next week. Five seconds. Okay. 
a little bit more tricky here using the phrasal verb, right? Hopefully you did well. Luca? It's C. Si. She says C. Si. C. Si. And C. Si. Yes, the trick is the detail here. It's the future with will. So we'll have to put it off. We'll have to put it off for next week. Good. Hopefully at home, you got that right as well. Correct answer for both. The answer is C. Okay, good job. And now it's time to move on. A little break as we consider some other uses. All right. A few programs ago, if you were paying attention, you saw that we saw, oh, but sorry, before I mention this, I, I think we should catch up and take a look at our scores. Let's just catch up with our scores first. Where do we stand right now? Luca, Luca 205 and choose with 295, a 90-point lead, but it's not over yet, ladies and gentlemen, not over yet. Okay, let's move on to consider our other uses. First, I want to consider to put up with. You may, you may recall a few weeks, uh, a few programs ago, excuse me, we saw, we, what was the expression that we saw? Do you remember? I remember one of the, of the other ones uh, who meant the, which meant the same. Wait, but yeah, it, 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 and it was with the verb to take. To take, Do you remember? take. We said, I can't take, take it, it anymore. anymore. I can't take it anymore. I can't put up with it. I can't tolerate it. And this is another way to, of saying the same thing, to put up with to tolerate. I can't put up with it. We also have to bear or to stand. And to sta and to bear and stand, we, we use it in the negative. We say, I can't stand it anymore. I can't stand it. I've been putting up with him and his noise for two years and I can't stand it. I can't put up with it. Tolerar, soportar, aguantar, okay? So this should be clear. It's very similar to the lesson we saw in the other class. Okay, do you have to put up with noisy neighbors or any problems at home? I have to put up with noisy neighbors. Yeah, okay. Ask her if, if there's anything she refuses to put up with. Ask Luke if there's anything she absolutely refuses to put up with. Is there anything you refuse, you refuse to put up with? Mm, I can put up with, uh, mm, how do you say people maleducados? Rude. Oh, rude, rude people. people. I can't put up with rude people. Repeat that. I can't put up with rude people. Okay, I can't put up with rude I can't put up with rude people either. People have to be pleasant, polite, you know? Okay, next we have to put away. To put away. What does that mean, to put away? When you take something and you just make it disappear. Or... Well, well you're, you're moving it, but it's basically guardar. Guardar algo en algún sitio. To, to put something away, to put away. Do children always put away their toys? Not, do they? not really. <laughs> they don't do it. They don't always do it. They should. They're supposed to put away their toys, but they don't always do it. Guardar, to put something away, okay? Do you always put away your things after you're done working? Do you always put away your things? Hopefully you do. Guardar, to put things away. To put away, a phrasal verb, and a little something extra. All right, let's move on now to the second round of our translations. Let's go. All right, here is where we, I think I said last time, I'll say it again, to raise the stakes, to make things a little more interesting because we have more points available. Now the translation challenge is the same. Pero ahora, diez puntos en vez de cinco. Okay, ten points instead of five. All right, let's hear example number one. Apagó su cigarro antes de entrar en el edificio. Okay. Option A. He put out the cigarette before to go into the building. Option B. He put out his cigarette before entering the building. And option C. He put the cigarette out before to enter the building. You have five seconds. Ah, the confidence again. Let's see. Let's see. Luca, do, do you think you have the right answer here? I think so. 
Okay, well, do you, do you think Luca has the right answer? Maybe she has the, the right answer. Maybe, maybe. Okay, well, we'll see. What have you got, Luca? Luca says B. B. Okay. And I say B, too. Okay. And the correct answer, ladies and gentlemen, is B. Yes. So 10 points and 10 points, but I need you to pronounce that for me. Me? Yeah, pl please okay. choose. He put out his cigarette. He put out his cigarette before entering the building. Yes, before entering, before followed by the gerund, before entering the building. Okay, good. I had a coffee before starting the program. He put out his cigarette before entering the building. Okay. Number two. Let's hear it. Los lavamos, pero no los guardamos. Ah, okay. I like that. Interesting. Interesting. Option A. We washed them, but we didn't put them away. Option B. We washed them, but didn't save them. And option C. We washed them, but they didn't get stored. Okay. Luca. Do you think you have the right answer? Yes, it's A. She says A. Okay. A. The ladies both say A. And if you have A, give yourself 10 points. The correct answer is A. Good job. We washed them, but we didn't put them away. So using our phrasal verb, but I want you to say that for me, Luca. We washed them, but we didn't put them away. We washed them, but we didn't put them away. Okay, very good. Because save is usually to save something for another time. I'll save it for later. If, I, if I'm eating dinner and I have some leftovers, I'll save them for tomorrow. I will put them away. I'll put them in the refrigerator. Okay? <laughs> Number three, let's hear it. Ponlo donde pusiste el otro. Okay. All right. Option A. Put it. Where did you put the other one? Option B, put it where you put the other. And option C, put it where you put the other one. Five seconds. All right. Do you think you have the right answer here? This time I'm confused. It's maybe a little bit more tricky, but we have, okay, we, we, we have 10 points available here. Let's let's see your answer. It's C. C. And choose says? I chose B. B. Okay. And the correct answer is? At home? The correct answer is C. Yes, the correct answer is C. Put it where you put the other one. El otro. The other one. The other one. That was tricky. That was tricky. Okay. So 10 points there for Luca. All right. Gaining a little bit of ground. Let's go on now to example number four. No podemos aplazarlo durante mucho más tiempo. Okay. Option A, we can't put up with it for much longer. Option B, we can't put it off for very much longer. And option C, we can't put it off for more time. Okay. Luca, a little bit more challenging now. No, I chose the first one, but You it's chose not... the first one, but you don't know. A little bit tricky. I was isn't reading. It? It's been a little bit, bit more tricky. difficult now. A little bit tricky. All right. Okay. Do you, do you think you have the right answer, though? I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Luca, what have you got for us? I have A. Luca says Put A. Put up. No. Okay. <laughs> I chose C. Okay. So you chose A. We can't put up with it for much longer. And you chose C, we can't put it off for more time. Option B was we can't put it off for very much longer. Okay, the correct answer is B. The correct answer is B, so they were both wrong with different answers. If you got B at home, give yourself 10 points. Good job, we can't put it off for very much longer. We have to move on to the next segment we can't put that off for very much longer either. Let's move on to our expression of the day. 
All right, it is time for the expression of the day. Our expression is to stay put. What does that mean? Do you know what that means, to stay put? I have no idea. To stay put. What does that mean, Luca? I don't have any ask idea. Me, ask me what stay put means. What does stay put mean? It means don't go anywhere. Don't move. Stay put. Stay put. So imagine if, if you're stranded on the highway and you call me, Kyle, I need help. Come get me. I've run out of gas. And I say, OK, no problem. I'll be right there. Stay put. Don't go anywhere. Stay put. Just like when we go to commercials here on Aprend Inglés, don't, don't change the channel. Stay put. Stay put. Stay here. So tell me to stay put. Stay put. OK, again, stay put, Kyle. Stay, stay put, Kyle. Say, don't go anywhere. Stay put. Say that. Don't go anywhere. Stay put, Kyle. OK, stay put. Don't go anywhere. Don't leave. Don't leave the studio. Stay put. Stay put. All right, that's our expression of the day. Hopefully, you caught that one. All right. Yeah, that music. Do you know what that music means? What does that music mean? Well, the, 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 the bitter part of the It program. means that <laughs> things are about to get a lot quicker. It's time for the, for the speed round, OK? The speed round. But first, let's take a look at our scores going into the speed round. Let's see our scores. The puntuación. Let's see where we stand as we go into the speed round. OK? So Luca, what's the score here? Luca has 235. And Chus has 315, so a fairly large lead. But we're moving on now into the speed round. OK, so here in the speed round, remember, I'm going to give you the answer to a question. Your job is to form the question, asking for the information in red. Vas a ver algo en rojo, y la pregunta tienes que pedir esa información. OK, now each example is worth 10 points. And if you make a mistake, we will subtract 10 points, OK? <laughs> you have two minutes. And remember, do not answer until you press the buzzer. Very important, right, Luca? Right, right. I OK, tried. <laughs> two minutes on the clock. Let's get started. Peter put away the food. Go. Luca. Who put away the food? Correct. 10 points for Luca. Well done. Next example. I put it on as soon as I got out of the shower. Go. Luca again. When did you put it on? Good. 10 points for Luca, making a comeback. Number three, I put it in my left pocket. Luca again. Yes. Where did you put it? 10 points for Luca. She's on a roll. Están gracia. All right. Next example. We'll have to put it, we'll, we'll have to put up with them until they leave. Go. Luca. Until when do we have to put up with them? Mm, no, Till I'm when? afraid not. Minus 10 points for Luca. Pass or play? I think I'm going to play. She's going to play. She's going to play for 10 points. When will we have to put up with them? No, I'm afraid not. Minus 10. How long? Will oh, we have right. to put up yeah. with them? How long will we have to put up with them? Let's move on to the next example. They've put out three fires so far this month. Go. Luca, quick hand. How many fires have they put out so far this month? Good. 10 points for Luca. Well done. Well done. Next example. I've been putting up with him for years. Go. Juice. How long have you been putting up with him? Very good. Repeat it, please. How long have you been putting up with him? Very good. 10 points. Correct answer for choose. 10 points. Next example. I put it there because that's where it belongs. Go. Luca. Why did you put it there? Repeat, please. Why did you put it there? I put it there because that's where it belongs. Correct. Well done. She says, why did you put it there? She buzzed in and she gave the answer on time, so I'm going to give her the points. Whew. That was intense. <laughs> that was really intense. Let's see where we stand. 275 for Luca. Closing the gap there. Picking up a few more points to 315. Oh, it's getting good here. It's getting intense. 
All right, now it's time for one more minute. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the same challenge continuing for one more minute. Luca will try to pick up a few more points to win the whole week right here, and you'll try to protect your lead. So we have one more minute of the same activity, the same challenge. Each one is worth 10 points. Pay attention, we have one minute. Let's get one minute on the clock up there. One minute, do we have it? One minute, there we go. Okay, let's start the clock now. She put away her books at three o'clock. Go. Luca. What time did she put away her books? Repeat, please. What time did she put away her books? What time did she put away her books? Good, but remember, you gotta press the button after. Okay, correct answer. 10 points for Luca, good job. Okay, example number two. They put off the baseball game because of the rain. Go. Quick hand, well done. Why did they put off the baseball game? Repeat, please. Why did they put off the baseball game? Why did they put off the baseball game? Very good, okay. Correct answer, 10 points. Next, we used a screwdriver to put it together. Go. Very fast, well done. What did you use to put it together? Correct answer, yes. 10 points, and ladies and gentlemen, we're out of time. We don't have time, but she got 10 points right before the buzzer. Choose picked up 10 more points. Let's take a look at our totals. Let's see the total scores here. Luca, let's see the total score there. Luca has a total of 285. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner with a total of 335 points. We may see her again. Choose is our winner for the week. I want to remind you at home that you can participate in the program. Podéis volver a concursar con las preguntas del programa de hoy desde casa a través de nuestra página web, aprendeingles.com. We've got some prizes. I've got some prizes for these guests, and it's time to give them. All right, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, I have some CDs from Vaughn Radio. This is Everyday English with our friend Alberto Alonso, volume two for Thank both you. our contestants. And Thank our you. weekly winner has won a copy, not just a copy, a one year subscription to our monthly magazine, The Vaughn Review. And choose, you're a winner. Thank you. Congratulations, <laughs> and she may be back because we have our grand prize of a trip to Baogang Town coming up as well. Great job, guys. It's been a pleasure all week long. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time on The Verb Circus. All right.